You're watching a slice of nightlife, a weekly look into Rutgers athletics. Montez Mathis, explosive in the transition game. How about him in the open court? He's been uh, really good too. I mean, average 11 points a game in the Big Ten last year as a freshman, hard to do. You go through that adjustment to college basketball. Um, he's athletic, he's tough, and, and right now, really focused on him, him being our best defender. He's done a real good job in the preseason, excited about him. Let's talk some averages, 3.06. That's pretty good when you're talking grade point average, not scoring average. <laughs> what does that mean to you, Steve? You know what's exciting, that's the highest in 18 years here for a basketball team, and to have a, a, my whole team be over 3.0, just goes to the support we have and, and academic support. We have Randy Larson, does an unbelievable job with our players but it also goes to the kind of kids we're recruiting. They're good students, it's a great university. I'm proud to be the head coach here. Um, when they get 3.0s and those kind of grades, it tells you they're doing good stuff on the court and in the classroom. As the basketball season rolls on and the volleyball season comes to a close, one European athlete reflects on her journey to the banks. Um, meine Liebe zum Volleyball habe ich eigentlich schon mit drei entdeckt. Um, und zwar war es im Italienurlaub, als ich mit meiner Schwester um, Ball gespielt habe auf dem Campingplatz. Ähm, aber wirklich angefangen mit Volleyball habe ich dann erst in der, als ich zehn war. Aber ziemlich schnell war Volleyball dann meine Sportart Nummer eins und hat alles andere, Fußball, Tennis, Tanzen, einfach rausgekickt und seitdem bin ich auch immer beim Volleyball geblieben. There's a pretty big difference between um, Volleyball in Europe or in Germany and Volleyball in the United States, because here it's more specialized. So you have defensive specialists, and you have the libero serving, which is something we don't have in Germany. It's more athletic in the United States because players, a lot of players, especially in the Big Ten, rely on their strength than they do on their quickness or their smart decisions that they do, which is just what you learn when you play for years in Europe. In Germany, it's always you have to decide whether you go study or you play professional. And I was always like, yeah, I don't really want to choose. Like, I want to do both, and I want to do both on a high level which is why I came to Rutgers, because Rutgers offers me playing in the Big Ten, playing against the top teams in the country. I mean, we just played against Nebraska, we played Minnesota, we played Penn State, Michigan. That's amazing. And on the other hand, the education is really good. Rutgers is a great school. It's a big difference, again, to Germany, and I definitely don't regret, to regret the decision to come here. Slice of Nightlife will return after this brief message. I'm Kayla, and this is what I work for. I need health insurance that makes things easier for my schedule so I can focus on what matters. This is how Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey works for me and him and her. Let's take a look at the past week's action in Rutgers Athletics. Make sure to come out and support your Scarlet Knights this week on the Banks. And we'll see you back here in two weeks for another Slice of Nightlife.